When you are knitting socks, how can you guarantee that your sock is actually gonna fit? Okay, there's a lot of things that can go wrong and a lot of things that can go right. So I'm gonna show you my top tips for perfectly fitting socks in this video. And I have my little sock assistant stitch to help guarantee that those socks stay on and they don't fall off. Are you gonna help stitch? Okay, here we go. The number one tip for getting your socks to fit is to check your gauge, okay? With shawls, gauge doesn't matter so much because it's just a drapey fabric. Socks are the shawls of the feet and gauge does matter if you want your sock to fit. So basically, you don't have to do a gauge swatch. You can just cast on your sock and call the cuff of your sock and the leg of your sock a swatch. And if it feels a little too loose, too tight, then just go down a needle size or up a needle size for your next sock, okay? It's not really worth it to do a gauge swatch just for the sock, because the sock is already so tiny. So I recommend to cast on the sock, call the cuff and the leg your gauge swatch, and hopefully you're on track and you get gauge close. If you're not exactly on gauge, it doesn't matter exactly, but try to get within one or two stitches of the recommended gauge. If you're really off gauge, but you like your fabric, then you could change the size of the sock that you're following. So check your gauge and that's going to tell you whether you're going to have a huge sock or a perfectly fitted sock compared to the pattern you're following. Selecting your size. This is one of the most crucial parts to getting a fitted, a well-fitted sock is knitting the right size in the pattern. In most of my sock patterns, there's either four or usually five sizes to choose from which is a lot. So you need to make sure you're selecting the right size by measuring your foot. So how I measure my foot is around the center of the foot. So just take a tape measure, measure around the center of the foot. Don't have too much slack in the tape measure. Have it be very firmly fitted to your foot when you're measuring, and then you'll know your actual foot circumference. Base the size you select off of your actual foot circumference measured around the center of your foot, okay? But I think the key to getting a good sock fit is don't pick the size that your actual foot is. Pick the size of the sock with a smaller circumference than your actual foot. That's gonna make the sock a little bit smaller than your actual foot so that your foot can stretch it out and it's gonna have a firm fit and not be a sloppy, saggy sock. Okay, that's one of the biggest errors I think when choosing your size is going, oh, I measured my foot it's 10 inches around or 25 centimeters, is that right? Around, and then picking a 10 inch, 25 centimeter sock size. Mm, socks are gonna stretch more than they're gonna shrink. So if you pick a sock size that's the, the exact size of your foot, you might get a sloppy sock, okay? So go down, negative ease. That means picking a smaller size in the pattern than your actual foot and measure around the center of your foot, okay? I go anywhere between one to two inches of negative ease. So again, let's say your foot is eight inches around. You wanna pick a sock that's about seven actual inches or two and a half centimeters to five centimeters smaller. So if your foot is 20 centimeters, then pick a sock size that's 15 or 17 centimeters. Does that make sense? And it's gonna, the more you knit socks, the more you're gonna get uh, a sense of that ease factor. And you're gonna go, ooh, I like my socks even tighter. So maybe you'll find yourself needing to go down another size in the pattern for future socks. But check that, your actual foot circumference, that's how you measure it. And uh, pick a sock size that's a little bit smaller than your actual foot. If you're knitting your first pair of socks, it's good to know that sock fabric at least for my sock patterns, is much tighter than shawl fabric or sweater fabric. So when you're knitting your sock and it feels kind of firm, that's the point. I especially like really tight, tidy, firm gauge socks. You don't want them to feel so stiff and like cardboard. They're still gonna be fluid and relaxed, but they're gonna have a really close, tight density in the fabric, and they're gonna feel much firmer than your shawl fabrics that are drapey. And that is going to help keep the sock's shape. So if you have a loose sock, it's gonna stretch out over time even more. But if you, if you have a really firm fabric with really tight, tidy stitches, it's gonna hold its shape better and last you longer over time. That foot circumference that I showed you how to measure is how I base the sizes off of my socks. 
Your ankle is gonna be similar, but it might not be exactly the same. But the great thing about knitting is that it's so stretchy and flexible. So if you're measuring your foot and your foot is 10 inches around, but your ankle is eight inches around or 12 inches around, it's okay. Measure, base your measurement off of the foot circumference. And if your ankle is sort of close, the sock is gonna stretch to fit your ankle fine. That ankle fit I find isn't as crucial as the foot fit. That's the most important part is getting that foot fit. The ankle, if you have a really different sized ankle, then maybe you could adjust the stitches later in your patterns by adding more stitches or knitting a larger size for the cuff. But for most socks that you knit, it's okay to have the same stitch count for your leg and your foot and let the knitting do its flexibility thing and it's gonna form to your exact measurements. But you don't usually need to do too much contouring for that ankle unless it's really drastically different than your foot then you could get clever with some increases or decreases, but keep the same stitch count for the leg and the foot and let that foot guide your size choice. Finally, we have the length of the sock. The length of the cuff and the leg and the foot, those are the easiest parts to change because you can just knit more pattern repeats. Most of my socks work with really short pattern repeats, so if you just stop early, and continue with your toe decreases, you can knit a custom length foot. We all have different widths and circumferences of our feet, but maybe you have the same length as someone else, but they might have a different circumference. So the length is the easiest thing to customize. And as you're knitting the foot, I recommend to stop just below your pinky toe before you begin those toe decreases. And that's usually a good indicator of when to start your toe decreases. Knit your foot until it reaches just below that pinky toe, the tip of the toe, and then start decreasing for the toe. Also for the leg and the cuff, I like a little bit longer leg and cuff. You can always customize the patterns to be shorty socks, ankle socks. I like them to be a little bit longer, like your standard long sock length, and that's really easy to customize as well by skipping early to the heel or knitting more pattern repeats. And you can also knit that cuff as long as you want. A general rule when I'm following my rows and feeling like, am I ready for the heel? Have I knit enough rows? Whenever I ask myself that question, I just knit an extra round and I never regret it. It's always good to knit one or two extra cuff rounds. I think I'm done with my cuff. It measures what it should say in the pattern. Is it enough? If you ask yourself that, just knit one or two more rounds and you'll never regret it. It's always good to have an extra round than not enough rounds and have a stumpy short sock. So those are my top tips for getting your sock fit. If you have some other ideas or some tools or tips that help you get that perfect sock fit, feel free to comment with those down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear some of your other tips so that we can have a year, a drawer of socks, a whole year filled with socks and uh, ones that will actually wear and not just look at and give away to friends. So leave a comment and if you want to learn some more sock techniques there's a whole bunch of Westnitz patterns and the Westnitz Year of Socks ebook so you can sign up for that on Ravelry or Westnitz.com and every month in 2023 you'll get a new Westnitz sock pattern and if you've never knit socks before I have a new how to knit socks workshop. So you can sign up for that at westknits.com and I walk you through every single step of the way from finding the size and the gauge, choosing yarns, and I show you how to cast on, work the leg, the heel, the foot, every single technique, I knit a sock with you. So you can sign up for How to Knit Socks Workshop at westknits.com and dive into the world of socks. Dip your hand-knitted toes into the pool of socks and we can swim in all of our socks this year. So if you can't tell, I'm addicted to socks now. They're the shawls of the feet. I've knit a shawl for like every day of the year. So now I need a sock to match every shawl. So let's knit socks together and have a really fun time.